Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 2, the ultimate hex guide. I warped back here to Drang Lake Castle because it is time to take on the third Abyss dungeon. Oh, we can enter this one. Well, that's nice. So, if you open it once with the humanity, you can come back at any time. Okay, that's nice to know. I had no idea that was how it worked. I thought once you warped away, it just goes away. But apparently you have to go in and die for it to disappear. But this is it, the third dark chasm of the old. And from what I've heard, this is the most difficult. Because we have to jump sometimes. Not always, luckily. But obviously jumping in this game is not the most consistent. Uh, do I have everything in order? I think I do. Okay, dark orb is going to be... Oh, it's Havel. Well, I mean, the tactic I've used worked so far with every one of these dungeons. Oh, shit. Go. God damn it. Okay, don't die. Don't die. You know how this works. I fought the afflicted grave robber before. Ancient, ancient soldier warg, or whatever his name is. We fought him, so Havel shouldn't be too much of an issue. Okay, that deals like no damage. Can probably knock them off the edge with force or something if you're if you're a cleric. Are you fucking kidding? How much stamina does this guy have? Okay, this is not gonna be easy. Especially since this is the third dungeon. At the end, we are gonna encounter a new enemy or a new boss known as Dark Lurker. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. I cannot beat this guy, I swear. And he healed. Ugh, fuck. And I fell off. That is fucking whack. <sighs> this is gonna be a difficult one. The problem with all of these NPCs, including the gang squad and the sunken crown, is that these guys have way too much stamina and way too much recovery time. Like, if I was actually using like the dragon tooth with a character, I would have nowhere near as much like recovery with the animations and shit like that but these guys do so just thinking hmm i want you know what i might go ahead and get dark fog up in here that might actually help me out combined with the damage so you know what i'm gonna try that out Go ahead and take out Whisper of Despair and Dark Weapon and go with Dark Fog. Well, we'll see. It's either gonna work or it's not gonna work. That's basically it. But goddamn. I knew that, hey, this one's gonna be. This one was gonna be the most difficult one because of Havel. But damn. Wish I could parry properly, because you can actually parry the Dragon Tooth, I think. Or at least the one-handed attacks. Alright, let's go ahead and get Dark Fog. Come on, you bastard. God damn it. I just wasted all my dark fogs. How did that still hit me? Okay, it's poisoned. Go, 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 go. Is he gonna fall off? If I come here? Oh, there's a path. You don't actually have to jump. God damn it. I don't have force, that's a problem, and I fucking killed Lissia of Lindell. But that's not gonna work. 
Okay, this is the way to go. Resonant, great resonant soul. Okay, well, I just kind of wasted all my spells, but luckily I do have plenty of herbs to restock. If I ever needed to. Oh, hey there. What the fuck? Oh, rapier. Is that Prince Ricard? I think it is. Well, it's rapier versus scimitar. These are kind of the best weapons in the game. You've got to be fucking kidding me. And the problem is, I don't actually have that many humanities. Well, I have like 20, but I don't want to fucking like waste all of them. Okay, one more try. At least I know how to take out Havel now. Alright, how many do I have? 16? Ah, oh, fuck. Better hope I don't die to Lark Dark Lurker too much. This is the last thing I have to do in this covenant anyways. Just really hope that I can actually do it. All right. Well, let's go. Maybe I'm being a bit too careless, but I don't think I am. Okay, so Great Resonance Soul for Havel. And then Ricard I'll deal with probably with just normal Resonance Soul. Obviously, he is not that good. Maybe I should I should have taken out that uh, phantom that was casting magic. And I could have actually killed uh, Ricard normally. Or Ricard, not Ricard. Come on, Havel. Two, three, and four. I think that was cool. So, can I aggro him without... Maybe that worked. I don't know. Oh, nice. He can actually dodge. Let's see how smart he is. Oh, fuck. The other guy is coming. He's healing, isn't he? No, he's not. I don't care, care about spamming my spells. Like I said, I have plenty of these herbs. I can restock at the end when I actually need to take out Dark Lurker. Goodbye. Ascetic? Yeah, I think ascetics are the only thing these guys drop. Okay, so there's nothing in there. I'm gonna have to go and explore because I don't actually know the path through this one. Is this where... Still need to light. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and use a flame butterfly. Luckily, none of these dungeons are as dark as the first one I took on. The first one, that you definitely need a torch. But for these ones, I think you can handle everything here. Don't know how mazy it's gonna be. Okay, so I think that's the way we have to go. Let's see. No, I'll stick with Resonant Soul. Is that Nameless Usurper? I think it is. She should be easy enough. Thank you, Dark Spam. Always. Always helping me. Okay, that one's significantly better than any of the other enemies so far. And here we are. This is gonna be it. Did I not use a single Estus Flask? That is impressive. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'll... I think I'll use one of these. Why not? That should restock all my spells. Alright, I don't have a weapon buff, but... Whatever. It's Dark Lurker time. Hopefully it still works, because now I'm going to get rank 2 and rank 3 in the Covenant at the same time. Hopefully it still works. It should. But Dark Lurker have never fought this guy before, actually, so... We'll see. We'll see. 
There he is. Or she. Doesn't actually, again, look nowhere near as difficult as the DLC bosses. Okay. Wish I brought a weapon buff, actually, because he is resistant, she is resistant to dark. Yeah, that's why it's good to fight all the DLC bosses, because by the time you get to something like this, it's like not even difficult. But I do know that he splits up. I just wasted two resonant souls. There you are. Oh, that deals jack shit for damage. I knew that she'd be resistant to dark. But not this much. I guess it makes sense. It is the only boss with dark in the name. Okay, I think it's gonna be... Spell spam time for this guy. It's gonna be a problem when there's gonna be two of them. Hopefully, though... Hey, she has a blast, just like all the other bosses. Okay, I don't know what she's... Oh, it's Nishandra Beam. Nishandra Beam time. Luckily, that's a pretty easy attack to avoid. How can I deal this little damage? God damn it. Nice soul spear there. Haven't taken any damage, I was gonna say. Is he splitting? Hey, hey, two Dark Lurkers, that's what I needed. Okay, time to go unlocked. This should still be pretty easy, I'm in. You have a chance to heal at least. That was a bit too close. Oh, that was... That was bad. Ah, oh, god damn it. I'm not dealing nearly enough damage. That is a problem. That is a big problem. I do know that she's weak to magic weapons. So maybe I'm gonna check out if I have any, like, magic... Because I do have the int. To use a lot of the spells. So maybe what I need to do is... Oh god, I mean, they're all broken. Fuck. Let's see what else do I have. I do have so Dark Greatsword. I probably don't have the end for that. I do have Great Magic Weapon. Oh, I do have the end for Soul Greatsword. Hmm. Maybe what I need to do... Is great soul arrow maybe this? And I need to get a catalyst that's like. Well, actually, this one is fine. Still has a good magic attunement. But I need to get a weapon that's. Problem is, how many upgrade stones do I have? Hmm. Should be able to upgrade it a little bit. Or do I have a petrified dragonborn weapon? Can I even use that mace? I don't... The problem is I don't think I can. I don't have the strength. Alright, I'm just thinking here. Just thinking. Because this dark... Uh, may, I mean, shuttle is not gonna do jack shit. I have to two-hand it, though. I think it can work. Yeah, I think it can. Anyways, I'm gonna go back to Mijula and repair. And I'll be back in a sec. Okay, let's try this again. I feel like I'm better equipped now. Magic Mace, I managed to upgrade it to plus 5. Hopefully that's not gonna remove my buff. I don't know. If things don't work out, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna have to leave it for now. And then go through the Dragon Shrine. And equ or upgrade this weapon to like plus 5. Fucking removed. My enchantment. Well, that is dealing more damage. Like... 
a tiny bit more, that was so bad. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Not dealing, like, any damage to her. Which is probably only gonna be an issue when she splits up. And when she teleports. There she is. Okay, come on. Need to, like, buff up my weapon, but I don't know when. Okay, maybe now. Hey, that actually worked. That is not, like, a big improvement. I was expecting a lot more from that. Alright, come on. You probably cannot poison her, can you? In terms of dark fog. No, definitely not. That would be... That would be insane if you could. Okay, so she's kind of like Gwendolyn when she teleports away. She can still... You can still kind of attack her. That was... Oh, I staggered her. She is splitting. Ha... Ah, oh, fuck. I'm calling bullshit on that. That shouldn't have hit me. Okay, that's good. This is easy enough to avoid. Come on, so great sword. Nice! That's what I need. Come on, please. Soul great sword. Are you fucking kidding me? One mistake, one mistake and I'm dead. It wouldn't, which wouldn't even frustrate me if I didn't have to sacrifice a human effigy every time I came through here. It wouldn't even matter. God damn it. I'm not gonna be able to beat her now. I already know. It's not gonna happen. Ah, fuck. You know what? Screw this. I'm going to the Dragon Shrine. Alright, Dark Orb. I know it's giving up, but at this point, currently, I'm not willing to sacrifice all my human effigies. Fighting a boss that can one-shot me. And I don't know... See, this is the problem with Dark Lurker. There is no way to practice him. Practice her either, because... Like I said, first of all, you have to go through that fucking dungeon every time. You have to kill all the enemies. And then one mistake and I'm dead. And it takes a human effigy. So right now, I think I'm gonna just go to the dragon shrine. Or the... what you call it. What should I equip? I'll go ring of st steel protection. Uh, so I'm gonna go here. I'll probably hit the first bonfire. And I don't even know how long that's going to be in terms of time. can probably go on for a bit more. So, yeah, that's Dark Lurker for you. I already picked up the Red Tear Stone. I don't know, I'm probably going to have to like figure out something. Because I do need to beat her for uh, two spells, actually. One spell you get from the Covenant. And the other spell you make from her soul. So yeah, I'll figure something out. Probably gonna have to go like all mage or something. How many soul vessels do I have? Wait a second. I have one. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, there are quite a few of them in the Iron King DLC. I know that. So I could go and pick those up. Eventually. Actually, I can go there now, because... Yeah, I can. Pick up these upgrade stones. Kill these little fuckers. Hey, that actually reached. I'm surprised. Dark, Dark, Dark Orb kind of has like a weird range. It's kind of difficult to figure out. And they're on my ass. Wait. 
That's your aggro range, seriously? Alright, I'm just gonna Dark Orb you. A nice dodge. Don't know if that was intentional or not. Oops. That was bad. Bad aim on my part. See, this is the why I, um, this is why I like Resonant Soul. It's just so much faster than Dark Orb. Not even talking about the extra damage. Here's Mr. Mimic. This is the one that contains the Sunset Staff, doesn't he? Yep, another one. So if you want another Sunset Staff, here's one you should get. This is the one you should pick up if you want to do Navlan's quest, which I also need to do. I'm gonna get Lucatil's stuff. I know, but I... You know what? I might actually wear this. Hmm. That shit looks awesome. I I mean. Let's see if we can go with some fashion souls here. Hmm. I mean, it's not bad. Never really wore Lucatil's stuff. Wait, that's Vanguard's. Which one is Lucatio's? There it is. See, the problem is the helmet. And I do not actually need the helmet for practical reasons. I mean, it's not too terrible. Kind of clashes. Maybe just the vest. I don't know, I shouldn't be doing this. Just wasting time. No, I, I'll stick with the level and armor. Okay, let's go into the actual keep. I'm probably gonna get invaded by Azlatil. I should have rested at the bonfire. Ah, whatever. I mean, we're not that far away from the second bonfire, so it doesn't matter too much. Is he not invading? What the hell? I am human, aren't I? Did I not exhaust Lucatil's dialogue? Is that what's going on? Wait a second. That's weird. Because he always invades, doesn't he? My, I beg for no, I did I did exhaust her dialogue. Well we're gonna rest now and see if that does anything. So yeah, like I said, I'll figure something out with Dark Lurker. I'll probably go, like I said, all mage and get a couple of spells from Karelian. Because I do have the int to use most of them. And just with magic spells, I will... Oh! So you do need to rest. At the bonfire. Hey there, Ezlatil. Yeah, that's not gonna be too bad. Especially since you can just stun lock him. I know I took some dumb damage there. Oops. That has, like, no tracking whatsoever. Holy shit. That is... That is crazy, that damage. Hey, nice dodge. And you're dead. Hexes are fucking insane. Except against Dark Lurker, apparently. But like I said, I mean, it does make sense that she is extremely resistant to Dark. So I'll just hide here and watch the show. Navlan, I'll get to Navlan because I'm probably going to die anyways sometime. So I'll just get to him then. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'll just unfreeze the ogre. That's probably the easiest way to take care of all this. I always forget what's back here. I don't think it's anything useful, but you never know. Upgrade stones are always handy if this is what that is. Oh, it's great magic barrier. Hey, you know what? Can I actually... Can I actually wield that? I don't remember the stat requirement for that. 28? Oh, fuck. I just had an idea. Because Dark Lurker's attacks are all magical, aren't they? I think so. Except for that fire blast that always kills me. So what if I... But I think... Magic Barrier works against Fire too, doesn't it? I'm a little bit sketchy on how that works because I've never used it. 
But if that does work, I think I just found my way to kill Dark Lurker. Alright, that was way too easy. Dragon Acolyte mask. Pick that up. That's always fun, that mask. And I'll kill this one too. I love Resonance Soul Spam. Such a good spell. <laughs> I think I even like it better than the Great Resonance Soul one. And usually that's the one people use online, but I don't know, I really like this one. The fact that it only takes up 100 souls and still does a ton of damage is really cool. Will I get the drop? No, nope, no drop. That other mask is a lot cooler though. The blue one. Alright. Wait, I'm gonna... I'm gonna activate. I always activate this Pharos con contraption. Just for the hell of it. Okay. Let's see. We're all done here, I think. I'm gonna pick this up. Don't even know what it is. Radiant Life Gem. And let's get in here. Like I said, just gonna hit the bonfire. And I think I'll wrap it up here. I don't even know how long this episode's gonna be. But, I wanna thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls 2, the ultimate hex guide. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.